Alright, so basically you have your planes, right, and you're going to start a sketch. I'm going to start the, the outside, the globe part, um, and I'm going to revolve it. So we'll, we'll start with the center line, and I'll make that the front plane. So start out sketching. And then it asks which plane, you just click on the front. And now you're, you have your tools. So um, it looks like I'm in inches. So we're going to want to change the units. So to do that, you're going to go up here next to on shape, workspace units. And then I'm going to go to millimeters and check that off. Um, so then once we have our line drawn, I'm going to go back into the sketch. Um, we're going to dimension it, and, that, and you can actually just press the key D, and it's a hot key, and it just automatically brings you into the dimension. So just click it just like SolidWorks, and then our center line... Uh, we'll make it 185. And then to kind of like refresh or like to center your drawing, you're just going to want to click this because sometimes it gets like out of whack and like the best thing, all you do is just click on the, the plane that you want to be zoomed in and centered in on. Um, and then I'm going to right click on this and, oh, I actually I have to escape dimension first and then I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to click on construction and that just makes it a construction line. So from here, um, I'm going to create a a radius, so the radius, the uh, radius of 60, and again, you can. Um, I like I like using this, the search for tools, because it's just an easier way, especially when you don't know the program that well, um, to find what you need. And then once you're in there, you have like a bunch of different um, other other things you can choose within it. Um, and then, so I'm just going to choose somewhere on the line. It doesn't matter where. Go all the way up. And then I'm going to dimension it. And the radius is 60, so a diameter of 120. I got my first circle, and then I have a second radius coming from here. Um, but in order to make that that circle tangent to this radius and tangent to this line, I'm going to actually have to create this line. Um, so since we're just creating the glass portion, I only have to worry about from here up. Um, but I'm still going to create that line so I have something that can be tangent. So I'm going to start at the bottom, and I'm just going to go, and these are, these are going to be for construction too, really, because we're not going to keep them. Um, and I'm going to go from here out, and then up. mention these out so this one um, so this is kind of a funky notation that we don't really use in CAD CAM because um, it's it's not really that great what it's saying is this whole part is 20 and this 
full part is 30. Um, again, I don't really like it because it's, it's not clear. So on the bottom, since we're only going half of 50, right, we, we want to come out to this line. So we're going to put in 25 millimeters and then the other dimension is going to be 50. And that, that gets us up all the way here, right? Um, and I'm making the assumption that this is 5. This is something that we're not given. Um, so I'm making the assumption that this is 5 because all of the other all of the other increments are in five millimeters. So it's safe, it's safe to assume that this square would also be five. So 45 from the base, right, from the base all the way up, plus that additional five, because that's where our second radius is gonna be tangent. So again, I'm gonna go to circle. And this time, I'm going to use a three-point circle. And that's because I'm going to be... So I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't specify where the center point of the radius is, but we know that it's tangent to the curve uh, of this circle, and it's tangent to this. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bump this out a little bit, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna create the, that geometry. So um, it's a little bit different uh, than SolidWorks here because this is how you're gonna actually assign geometry is through through this thing right here. So we know that this circle needs to be tangent with that curve and it needs to be tangent with this line so once we have we we've specified two tangent um, lines so now we have we have this setup we have the two uh, circles with tangent points and if you what I don't what I'm, I'm not there's probably a way to display that these are tangent, but I, I haven't found that yet. Again, I'm I'm way better at SolidWorks too, um, so this is it's a learning curve for me too. But we'll get there. Um, so now I'm going to dimension this out because, and like SolidWorks, if it's blue, it means that it's not fully defined. So I'm going to dimension this, and then that should. Um, Radius, so it's going to be 80. And it defaults to diameter when you're when you click on a circle. It defaults to the measure is going to be a, a diameter, not a radius. So whenever you're so just get in the habit of doubling. Um, and now so since we have we have the glass portion, right? We have the glass geometry. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is close it off. So I'm going to select. I'm going to hit the hotkey L, and that'll bring me into a line. And then I'm going to draw a straight line here. And then I'm going to start trimming. And trimming is a hotkey M. I don't know why. Um, it's M, but it's M. <laughs> so then I'm just going to start selecting regions. So it's it's kind of cool in the way that it, it shows you what which, which region region you're going to trim off before you do it. So it's going to select that region. Then I'm going to select this region. Select this region. And now um, I can make these lines for construction because they're they're not going to be. I don't want to get rid of them though because 
they're actually making making my sketch fully defined. So I'm going to ex exit out of the, the trim, trim function, so just hit escape. And then I can right click on this line, make it for construction, make that for construction. So again, we don't have um, any um, actually, this is going to be for construction too, because we're going to be revolving. We're going to be revolving it, so we we actually don't need that. Um, we're going to be revolving this piece, the glass piece, around this. Um, but we do need a thickness because we don't want we don't want to revolve this entire section, and the thickness of a glass bulb. Um, we're going to use 0.2 millimeters. So, and we're going to, it, it's just going to be an offset. We're going to create an offset. So, again, I don't know where all my tools are, but I know what they're called. So, Alt C, offset. I'm going to click that. It brings me in. Um, this offset is a little bit, um, it's different. But, I mean, you, you basically, so what I've noticed that's different about Onshape is that everything is kind of presented in the drawing space where, where more with SolidWorks, things are presented over here in, in your uh, command manager. So I'm going to actually... You, you actually just do more things in the actual drawing space, um, which is good and bad. Like like anything else, it has... Like right now, I'm not sure how to... Oh, okay, so that's how you do it. So you, you click it, you click it, and then um, it, it goes to the next command. So there you go. Um, two millimeters... And again, I get into this habit because of SolidWorks, like I keep trying to zoom out. You just click on that front face and it'll center everything for you. Now I'm going to make sure that these are connected. So I need a line, hotkey L. All right, I'm doing it again. All right, now I'll go down here. Hockey L. And now we have a globe that we can revolve. So click on your revolve command and if you if you didn't see that there again you can go to alt c to search for it and this is the axis axis we will be revolving it around so that's the first part of light bulb